Harvey Whittemore bribery. Jack Abramoff, Dario Herrera, and Aaron Kenny are three political friends of Harry Reid who did jail time for bribery, but they weren't the only ones. Perhaps the clearest example is Harvey Whittemore, who just finished two years jail time in 2016 for illegal bundling of over $150,000 in campaign donations to Reid. Of course, that amount doesn't include what passed under the table for sweetheart political payoffs to make that illegal campaign investment worthwhile. Whittemore was one of the three most powerful lobbyists in Nevada, only rivaled by Reed friends Sig Rogich and Billy Vasiliadis. Whittemore got started as a lobbyist in 1983 at age 26, working for former Nevada Governor Grant Sawyer's firm, where Whittemore was later a senior partner. By the 90s, he was a fixture in Carson City, the Nevada capital, whining and dining legislators on behalf of his gaming and tobacco clients, whipping for votes, even writing legislation. Whittemore was so omnipresent on the floor of the State House that glass barriers placed between legislators and the public seating gallery came to be known as Harvey's Walls. While Whittemore's campaign bundling for Reed is what got him jailed, it was his Coyote Springs development where the real graft occurred and shows how Harry Reed worked hand in hand on land developments to make millions for cozy friends. In this case, he was not just a developer friend, but lawyer, developer, lobbyist Harvey Whittemore. Whittemore's law firm, Lionel Sawyer Collins, at times employed all four of Reed's sons, Roy, Leaf, Josh, and Key. The Whittemore-Reed partnership became a family affair, with Whittemore at one time or another employing all four of Reed's sons. In 2001, Roy Reed even took a lobbying job at Whittemore's firm while he was chairman of Nevada's De Democratic Party. Whittemore's longtime personal lawyer on the Coyote Springs deal? None other than Leaf Reed, Harry's eldest. Whittemore had been working since at least 2000 on his Coyote Springs golf and housing development, an hour northeast of Las Vegas. Harvey's close relationship with Senator Harry Reid helped tremendously in Whittemore's ability to sidestep and change policies and regulations standing in the way of his gigantic project. With Senator Reid's help, Whittemore removed formidable obstacles to the Coyote Springs project. This included moving 13,000 acres designated as a sanctuary for the desert tortoise out of the center of the Coyote Springs land to the north and eastern edges of the project freeing up development, next to impossible when dealing with the Federal Endangered Species Act. Changing the land designation is something that could only be done by someone near the stature of then Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid. The Coyote Springs project also required special consideration for transmission line corridors, and Reid again helped. According to the Los Angeles Times, as the hurdles were removed, Reed received tens of thousands of dollars in campaign contributions from Whittemore. Yet Harry Reed's office said that Harvey Whittemore was treated no differently than any other developer. Just as interesting as Whittemore's bribes was who was chosen to defend him. Dominic Gentile is another of Reed's lawyer friends who have devoted their lives to defending mobsters in the porn trade. Among other accomplishments, Gentile became the owner of the Palomino Club nude bar after the owner, a client, defaulted on some loans. In 2009, Reed brought Gentile in to press spurious fraud charges against Lieutenant Governor Brian Krolecki at the behest of Nevada Attorney General Catherine Cortez Mastos, who later became senator. But that is another story. In 2007, around the time the economy and Coyote Springs went south, Prosecutors say Whittemore promised to bundle $150,000 for Reed. When he couldn't deliver, he reached into his own pockets to make up the difference. And to get around contribution limits, he used employees as fences, reimbursing them for donations made in their names. This was a clear campaign finance violation, but the real crime was the earlier years of incestuous dealings between Whittemore and the entire Reed family. Reed told a Nevada news show before the jury on campaign bundling reached its verdict, quote, this trial would determine whether or not Whittemore followed the law. It won't change my impression of Harvey Whittemore or his wife, Annette. I think they are wonderful people. I appreciate the Whittemore family. Over the years, they have helped me and I appreciate it very, very much.